Okay. Sports, drugs, entertainment. I'm going to name some basketball players. And just name the first thing that comes to mind when I name them. Um, Lim Bias. Great brother. Great. Life cut too short. Pistol Pete. Never got a chance to see him play, but three runs. He, he's a great player. Allen Iverson. Genius. In what way? Ball handling. His heart. Magic Johnson. The ultimate point guard. Wilt Chamberlain. Monster. LeBron James. Wow. First time I saw LeBron James play in high school, first person I thought of was Magic Johnson. Bill Russell. Little Giant. Ralph Sampson. Very unique talent. Very St unique talent. Steve Nash. Efficient at what he did. Charles Oakley. Loved him. Loved him. Kevin McHale. One of the greatest, probably the greatest at that position. Shaquille O'Neal. Wow. Shaquille O'Neal. What you say? How do you feel about steroids in sports? How do you feel about steroids? Do you think the players should be allowed to take them or do you think they should be banned? Steroids, you know, I never dealt with. I, I don't know the full range of what goes on with that, but they say it does this. It, I, I don't think steroids makes you a, a person who could hit a home run that much further out the park or run that much faster. I, mean, I don't know what it is, but if it's bad for you, I mean, you know. Do you feel the game of basketball is soft? today compared to the 70s, 80s, and 90s? If so, explain. Well, the 70s, 80s, 70s, and 90s, it was, you know, it, it was knocked down, you know, knocked down, you know, kick-ass shit, and like on purpose. It's a very different game today, very different game. Half of these players in the league today couldn't play back in the 80s and 90s. Name three players, if you can, that you think are extremely overrated, rather from the old school, the new school. Your opinion, your, your harsh, honest opinion. That's extremely overrated. Or just overrated in general, a person they always talk about, but in your opinion as a basketball player, they're really not that good. This is your opinion. Well, a guy, a, a guy who plays for my Knicks. I think, I think he's a damn good player, but I don't think he's the greatest player. But uh, oh, Julius Randle. Okay, continue. Uh, I, I, I like R.J. Barrett the way he's coming up now. Do you think he's overrated or underrated? Not, uh, I, I will say he's more underrated, but he's in the process of taking his respect where nobody has to say that about him no more. Okay, name some more players you think are overrated that people talk about but you don't think are that great. Yeah, I can't get into that. I'm being but uh you know, I, I like I like Kawhi Leonard. I think he's underrated. I like this I like I like John DeRozan. Very underrated player because you don't hear a lot about him. But a great is a great player. Continue. Uh, I can't like off the top of the head. I can't think because you know I'm not caught. I'm not caught up on my sports the way I used to be. Well, you could reference from what you from what you have in your head from back when you were caught up. Mm -hmm. Who were overrated players from the era that you are caught up on? Not really too much caught up. 
not really too much caught up in, in my thing, but I, I, I don't, I mean, I love to, I don't get to watch a basketball game every night, you know, like I used to, you know. So who are some of the best three-point shooters, old school or new school, in your opinion? Okay. You know, first of all, we're going to start with what's going on most recent right now. Steph Curry, you know, my hat's off to him. My hat's off to him. Uh, I, I, my favorite three-point shooter is, is Ray Allen. Uh, you got to go back in the day with the 76ers, Hersey Hawkins. And, you know, like I said, my boy George Gervin himself. You know, it's just a bunch of them. You know, it's too, too, too many numerous to name. Who was one of the best dunkers, in your opinion, old school and new school? Oh, my God. I like Dominique Wilkins, but, you know, don't get it messed up. Or fucked up. I used to run around in my black and red shorts, you know, with my tongue hanging out my mouth in Glenfield Park. But my favorite was Dominique. Dominique Wilkins. Yes, sir. Who is one of the best shot blockers? Old school or new school, in your opinion? Oh, I came Elijah Wan. Uh, David Robinson was good with it, but. There was a bunch of them. Dave, like I said, David Robinson, you know, Akeem Olajuwon, or the Kemby Matumbo, I mean, of course, I used to love Alonzo Mourning, Patrick Ewing. You know, everybody was a shot blocker back in the day. That's how you had to play back in the day. So who are some of the best point guards that you like and admire, old school or current? In your opinion, yeah. uh, my number one, my number one point guard is Magic Johnson and Oscar Robinson, and everybody loved Isaiah Thomas. I used to love Clyde Frazier. It's a lot of them, you know. Like I said, too many to too many too numerous to name. But just try to name some more for the people that might not be familiar with some of these players or just good players in general yes. from any of the positions that had any of these skills. Players that you did not name already. Okay. And you said shot blocking or shot blocking or any aspect of the game. Okay. I love I love Magic Johnson like cuz like I said he played the whole game. You know, he was, you know, he was a point guard first. His, his, his job was to di distribute the ball and make his team better. He did that well. Again, Isaiah Thomas did that. And, you know, Michael Jordan as well, Scottie Pippen, and, you know, on and on. You had Dr. J, Mo Cheeks, and World Be Free, and on, just on and on. Clyde Drexler, and just on and on. So with the all-time debate that goes on with the whole Kobe Bryant, LeBron James thing, in your opinion, who do you think is a better player? And do you think people give Kobe Bryant a lot more credit because he passed away and LeBron's still here? This is in your opinion. In my opinion, I will take nothing from either one of them. But pound for pound, inch for inch, inch, for inch Kobe Bryant is the better player. Why? Uh, you take LeBron James, who came out of high school and into the NBA. He was 6'9", 250. Ended up weighing as much as 270, you know, playing the way he did. You know, hats off to him. Kobe Bryant was about 6'6", six, six, maybe 210, 210 pounds. And that was on his most swollen day. But he, you know, they, they're both deadly, but Kobe will find a way against, you know, of, of what's supposed to be, you know, his opposition. So how do you feel about NBA teams basically buying teams, trying to piece together superstar teams? How do you feel about that? Well, what I feel about that is, you know, that this is this is what a general manager and coach's job is because if you ever look at any sport, never mind basketball, 
no no one man has done nothing. You know, like I said, hats off to Michael. First thing they'll say, Michael Jordan's the greatest player. And you know, if I felt there was a such thing, I wouldn't laugh at you for saying Michael Jordan. But I don't I don't agree there's a such thing because Scottie Pippen has six rings too. And I don't I don't think with it without Scottie Pippen, I'll say Mike because he was the ultimate competitor. He would win or try to find a way to win. I'll give Mike exactly his two rings, maybe. That's only because he was the ultimate competitor. So in closing, it's only one person to pick. Who is the best basketball player all around on any level? So you only could pick one, in your opinion, of all time, if you had to pick one. You mean in the greatest? The greatest on all levels. Who is the greatest? Well, it's not uh, separate them by yeah, like yeah, three I, point a shot block. Just who is the greatest? Right. Who, okay, like I said, I'll tell you this. Uh, I don't agree with the title for the world. You know, greatest person to ever touch a basketball. But if they made me say one person, I would say Kareem Abdul. -Jabbar. 